So whenever you start to share things that you're learning, inevitably, you're going to have people ask you questions. And uh, I had somebody ask me a question. I wasn't exactly sure how to answer. We've been chatting a little bit about uh, good speech and the ways that we can communicate with each other because, you know, God tells us that we are to love each other. And one of the ways that we can really love each other is to put the other one first or to give them the benefit of the doubt. And a lot of times our minds quickly go to the negative whenever we see someone or hear something about someone. Uh, we're really quick to point out to the negative. So King David in one of the Psalms said, you know, who loves life and days of seeing good? Um, guard your tongue from evil. And that's in uh, Tehillim 34. So when we think about do we want our lives to be good, what's a way that we can do that? And that is that we really watch what we say. We're paying attention to what comes out of our mouth, um, even maybe more than what we're paying attention to what goes in because what's coming out is affecting other people. So we have to be on guard for how we're speaking with others. And whenever we begin to be on guard, then what that inevitably does, the Chofetz Haim says that that's going to enable us to actually see the good in others. So, um, and that's just a fantastic trait to have, that whenever you see someone else, you're automatically seeing the good. And other people are a reflection of ourselves. If you see something that you don't like in someone else, it's most likely because you've got a problem with that in your life. And God is showing that to you and showing you that you have something to work on. And we want to do our best to see the good. That is the goal, right? Um, the uh, Obviously, the laws of proper speech that come through from Kofa time, uh, you guys are welcome to, you know, um, study this with us as we go through it. You can pick up the, so we can bring that on, pick up the book if you like. Um, there's a lot of questions that come about. Uh, somebody had asked me specifically, they said, hey, what if um, I'm just trying to protect someone else? If, um, you know, if I happen to say something that's negative to, um, you know, to kind of protect someone. And Hope Time says, look, that is, uh, it's an appropriate thing. Like if you have a constructive purpose, where it, which could be to help a person who's, um, uh, let's see, what does he say? He says, to help the person about whom one is speaking. So you're like discussing some issue with your Rav or whatever. You're trying to help someone. You may you may be able to, to tell them what's going on. Um, or to help somebody who's being adversely affected by that other person's behavior. So you think that that, um, that, that person is going to be involved in something with that guy and, um, and you need to express um, you're providing some sort of help for them, you know, physically, or you're protecting them from falling victim to somebody. So um, Hofetz Haim does allow for those things. But the thing that we have to be very careful of is that most of us cannot tell the difference between um, like an actual constructive speech and just a rationalized gossip. So we can really rationalize in, our, in ourselves. Oh, you know, I, I only said that because I wanted to help so and so, I wanted to make them aware of the situation. You know, um, I've seen some really crazy reviews uh, online. Like a friend of mine shared, and he said it was a completely legit review. He shared with me that there was this um, person who reviewed a restaurant, and the review went something like this: "We absolutely loved the food. It was such a delightful, delightful event." Um, the, the feeling that we got from being there at this particular restaurant was so fantastic. The waiter was the best waiter we've ever seen on the planet, and we tipped them greatly. And then um, we were telling the waiter that we were going to go after and tell everybody, all we were going to tell all of our friends about the great experience that we had, and we were going to write a review for them, and we were going to tell them how amazing they are. And you know what? They didn't even offer to buy us drinks or dessert or anything. What a horrible restaurant. <laughs> like they had horrible customer service because they were amazing. But since we were going to write an amazing review for them, they decided that uh, they should give us, you know, we, we thought they were going to give us some something free. It's like, wait a minute. <laughs> so like we can really rationalize the craziness in our head and think that, we are saying something that's going to be constructive or beneficial to another person. And really, 
it's just evil speech. So we have to be extremely careful about that because when we guard our mouths, when we guard our words, we're actually guarding our souls. Uh, Hope of Time says that um, you can actually read the verse like his guarding his soul from tribulation can be read like homiletically. One who guards his mouth and tongue guards his soul from Zaharis. So um, Zaharis is like, um, you know, that's a, that's a, a affliction of like the, the flesh. Um, if you're, but, but you, you have to actually think about whenever you're saying something um, that's evil speech, you're affecting your soul. So although it might not show up, you know, visually like on our flesh right now in the open, it shows up in the world to come. It shows up in our souls and it puts blemishes on us. So we have to be extremely, extremely careful about how we speak about others. And I also want you guys to be careful about how you speak about yourself. Look, the time that you need to talk about your difficulties is in your personal prayer time. That's when you need to sit with the creator and you can talk about, look, God, I failed in this and I really want to fix this. And here's what I'm going to do to go about fixing this. Would you please help me? Um, I know you're gracious. I know you're generous. And I thank you for showing me what I needed to correct. Please help me correct. That is the time when you want to be bad on yourself, right? But don't go negative on yourself all day long. You are a holy soul. You have divinity inside of you. You were created by God for a purpose. Find what that is. How am I going to find what that is? Well, I tell you, I'm still learning. I think that my mission is to share Imuna with the planet. Thank God, because I keep learning it. But how am I learning it? I'm learning it through watching the difficulties in my life, seeing things that I think are difficult and going, oh, wait a minute, that's Hashem speaking to me. That's him showing me what I need to correct. And then realizing that there is nothing but God. There, those, those things are just actors on a stage showing me what I need to work on. And then I find that time in my personal prayer to work on it. So if you're seeing those things as well, don't go through your day thinking I'm such a horrible person because I've got so much to, to fix. No, we all, we all make mistakes and God wants us to grow. Just like if you're going to the gym, you got to have a little resistance if you're going to put on any muscle. And look, the Creator wants us to grow. He wants to um, help us to become who He's created us to be. And He's going to show us the areas that we need to fix. So when you see those areas that you need to fix, don't be so down on yourself. Be glad that God is showing you that because that means that he loves you so much that he's willing to show you that stuff so that you can grow to who he wants you to be, right? Fantastic. All right, guys, have a fantastic day. Be amazing souls and share your love with others by seeing only the best in those with whom you come in contact.